It came from research where I used high quality microscopes all the time and I was a little bit taken aback uh, when I got to my high school about the poor quality of the microscope. You know, we were doing labs to look at slides and cells and things and the quality was such that you just couldn't see anything. So we were expecting the kids to be able to pick out structures and do things, but not providing them the equipment to be able to do it. So they saw a need and they said, okay, in traditional high school, we learn chemistry this way, or we learn physics this way, and it's great. And we have labs that's good practical experience, but there was a limit to what they could do beyond that with a real lab experience or a real outdoors natural experience about this is how you use this piece of equipment. So they saw a need and those micrograms help fill the void so now students can actually do practice at a much more advanced level and really understand what the work is about. The kids loved it. I mean, I loved it. They were so excited to try to get the titration, the light pink color, and they didn't really, like, they were having fun just getting the titrations, but they were learning, like, oh, how do I do this? I can do half drops. Oh, what is this telling me? I can only add this much. This is the one-to-one -one mole ratio. You know, things of that nature. So I'm looking forward to that. Them learning, but not knowing that they're learning something. So. I thought it was cool that he did it so we could do, like, more labs and stuff. I feel like with the more labs and stuff he's now able to do, it helps us uh, with the topic more. Roll that ground, we told you about that, but uh, I don't tell you what I did with the money. And with the money, I got for you was virtual reality headsets. <gasps> oh, really? Oh, Play with them to real? see I'm um, for real. They need to be able to experience some things, and I do realize that there are restrictions. We have funding restrictions, and they can't experience those things, but with VR, you can. You can literally put your students in a space and have them experience, you know, cliff diving or, you know, anything else that, you know, pertains to standards. By providing that for them, I, I think that we've, we've started something. And I really do think it's gonna resonate throughout the school here. I really do think it is. It's so hard to do it in theory, but applied, it's, it's so much fun and easier too because that way you know it was like it's possible and not just like a bunch of numbers everywhere. I mean, anybody remembers experience more than reading something. So it's, it's aside from learning the, the material and having fun with the material, it's sort of opening your mind. I'm just grateful for the opportunity that I had the chance to get an opportunity like this. And that's another reason why I selected a conference because material things wear away. They go, they wear out, but the gain of knowledge like you say that fire for education and that passion to want to do well nobody's going to take that from me nobody is ever going to undo what i got from that conference and i hope to continue to keep stoking that fire between my professional experience and my continued development and attending other conferences that i can continue to add to that and build on that and help that fire catch seeing their engagement when they realize that there's people who want them to be successful in science and there's people who want this for them when it's you know pretty difficult i think no matter where you're at to be successful in science and math but to have someone on your team for that and to have cool stuff to help you do it versus you know worksheets and other things then yeah it's really nice thank you for the grant <laughs> i've been given an opportunity just to really expose the kids to something that they might not have seen so i am definitely thankful for the money like Tremendously.